Hello my friends, today I'm going to talk about cancel culture a little bit on mushrooms. No, I'm just kidding. No mushrooms today, just a non-psychedelic video. And I'm not going to get like too political or anything. This is just one issue that has always bothered me. I don't like cancel culture and it seems to be dying out and I'm pretty sure I know exactly why. Basically, I think it all comes down to money at the end of the day, much like everything else in the world. And yes, the camera is tracking my face. This, I don't know if I'm gonna keep using this feature. I just wanted to try it out. I wonder how good it is. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh, oh, <laughs> okay, it's not that good. And so a while ago now, they tried to cancel Eminem on TikTok, which I thought was hilarious because Eminem has such a big following and generate so much money so it's so naive to think that they could just cancel him and then recently aquafina i guess people are trying to cancel her because she did black scent which is like uh talking like a black person if you're not black and uh i don't know if that is or isn't offensive to people some people i'm sure or whatever but um it hasn't really been successful a lot of people are criticizing the canceling of aquafina and at the end of the day you just can't as a group of people decide to cancel someone, to decide that the market for this person shouldn't exist. You can't just decide that the years of work they've done to build up an audience doesn't get to exist because you disagree with something they did, even if it's something controversial. Their fan base still exists. You can't make their fan base disappear by canceling someone. Like if something can sell, it will sell if it's marketed. And so the thing that you're trying to cancel someone for has to be fucked up enough that their own fan base is like, oh, that's kind of messed up. And you, it's got to be so vile that it's got to turn their own fan base against them. But if it's something where most of their fan base is like, oh, you know, we'll let it slide, then you just, you can't cancel that person because they can still sell their stuff and still exist and people are still going to like them. You can't just decide, okay, sorry, everyone, nobody can like this artist anymore. And cancel culture, I guess it stemmed from, like, in my mind, it was Harvey Weinstein when that, like, started off cancel culture. But it was a lot different then. I mean, Harvey Weinstein was a rapist. So it makes sense that he was canceled. Totally justified. And then there was also, who was it? It was Cosby. There was Spacey and R. Kelly. All of them rapists deserve to be canceled and put in jail and whatever you know, evil people. And that's where it started from. But then it slowly started extending to other things. Like, uh, I remember they tried to cancel Ellen because she was mean, essentially. That's how I interpreted it. She was a mean boss. And it's like, was anyone under the illusion that people in Hollywood uh, are all benevolent or something like that? Like, it's so unsurprising that Ellen or someone in showbiz is mean or, you know, weird or, uh, sociopath or whatever she is you know and there's the, okay, I gotta turn this freaking thing off I tried okay <laughs> and there's no consistency either in cancel culture it's like okay Ellen's mean and all this but then there's like people that are more fucked up than Ellen is in showbiz you know and I've had so many dickhead bosses in my life it's like there's a different standard in Hollywood or the media it's like they all got to be like perfect saints but in everyday life it's like this shit, like, there's Ellen's everywhere, you know? That's just a boss in regular life. <laughs> and also, it, even if she is mean, which she probably is, she sounds pretty mean, you're allowed to be mean, you know? You don't have, I mean, you can, you're, you can do a lot of, you're allowed to do a lot of stuff. It doesn't make it right necessarily, it depends how you feel about this, but I think you're allowed to be mean. You don't have to be, like, nice. And... I would even argue, this might be not a popular opinion, but I think that mean people make the world even more interesting or just diversity makes the world more interesting. And that goes for like niceness and meanness or people that are chill, and maybe not chill, like people that are calm versus a loose cannon. You know, I want everything as long, as long as they're not like breaking the law or doing anything that most people generally agree is like morally reprehensible like murdering someone you know as long as they're not murdering or breaking the law or something stealing your stuff or whatever it's like i i don't know mean people like ebenezer scrooge as a mean guy but they wrote a book about him 
It's like you want to, they want to cancel mean people, but then we have fiction about mean people. Like movies have mean people in them. My monocle's falling out, no! Damn it. So it's like, I think we like, we don't want everyone in Hollywood or in the media to be like nice and, and cheery, like Mother Teresa's. We don't want them to all be Mother Teresa's. You know, we don't want sickos. I, we don't want Spacey's. We don't want all Teresa's. We don't want all, we don't want any sickos. We don't want all Mother Teresa's. We can have a few. But what I've noticed, what has happened with cancel culture is like the first like round of people that were unfairly canceled or there is debate about whether they should be canceled or not. The first round of those people are like all coming back into the media now and they're all finding success again and they're all carrying on with their careers and so cancel culture is really losing a lot of steam because people are realizing it doesn't work because canceling someone doesn't make their fan base disappear all it does is it removes their sponsors and their their deals and their production companies or record labels or whatever and it makes things like it takes away their mainstream avenues for marketing their content but it's not like you can't independently market yourself these days you know so you might not have a deal with dreamworks anymore but i'm sure aquafina or whoever can still get her music out there you know because the people canceling like aren't the people that make up the market for these artists and, or whatever and the people that like that artist like the cancellation has to be something severe like they did something fucked up to be like, whoa, I'm not going to listen to this person's stuff anymore, you know? But no one's going to stop listening to like Eminem because someone was offended on Twitter. It's like, oh, this person was offended on Twitter because of my favorite artist, Eminem? Oh, well, I'm not listening to Eminem anymore. It's like, wow. Oh. It's so, I, I find cancel culture people very naive. Very naive, very Twittery, very stupid, very sensitive, and uh, very and stupid, annoying. Glad that it seems to be like losing steam. I think it is for sure. There's debate as to whether it is or not. Some people are like, this is just the beginning. I don't think so. I, I think this is like the end sort of of it. It might exist to some degree for a long time or forever even, but uh, yeah. I think like the days of canceling someone because they made an off color joke maybe a while ago that not everyone agrees with or whatever. It's like, you know, people are people and if you looked into everyone's life and looked at everything they did like if you had videotape of everything everyone did ever and you could look back at it all like by cancel culture standard like no one would be allowed to be in the media because everyone's done something fucked up or done something maybe in poor taste or whatever you know I'm not talking about racist stuff. I've never done anything like that. Like, I'm just talking about like, it's just anything. I, like I've done something that's offended someone I'm, before, I'm sure. I'm positive. I would be, can I would be canceled. But luckily there is no evidence of anything. You know, it's just, it's really dumb. It's like, uh, it's like the, they're pretending that everyone is a saint and they're not. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to put my two cents out there and uh, express how I felt on this topic. And I hope you have a good day or night or evening morning day dawn dusk twilight afternoon high noon twilight midnight i don't care what time it is i just hope it's good and that you enjoy it and that you have a great day peace i love you all